there guys glad to see that you could join me again for another magnificent and marvelous math lesson with miss antonia bay let's talk about the standard format for time and date let's begin by looking at our lesson objectives by the end of this lesson students will be able to explain how to write time and dates in standard format and write time and dates in SI format. Hmm, but what is International Systems of Unit? Well, the International System of Unit or SI format is based on the metric system. It uses standard measures such as meters, kilograms, and seconds to measure. Standard formats are often used for recording dates and times in order to avoid confusion. An organization called the International Standards Organization, or ISO, sets the standard formats for recording times and dates. Let's begin by looking at the standard format for writing the date. Hmm, let's look at this holiday. February 14th, 2006. To write this date in standard format, we look at writing the year, then the month, then the date. So that means if I were to take February 14, 2006 and write it in standard format or SI format, it should look like this. 2006-02 because February is the second month hyphen 14 for the 14th day. Let's look at another example. The holiday December 25th in the year 2011. Remember, when we write standard format or SI format, we're using the year, month, day method. So that means I should write 2011 first, then the number 12 to represent the month of December because December is the 12th month then the number 25 to represent the day. Let's look at this example. August 28th, 1911. Again, using the SI format, we write the year, then the month, then the day. So boys and girls, what is this date in SI or standard? Format. That's right, boys and girls. Our answer should look like this. The year should be 1,911. The month should be the eighth month to represent the month of August. And 28 should be the day. Hmm, but guess what? We can use standard format for time as well. How do we do that? Pay close attention to these examples. Let's look at our first example. Suppose I'm given the time 9, 15, and 55 seconds. And of course, we know that PM means that it's in the night time. In standard format, we write our time in 24 hour clock time. That means that we need to figure out what is the digit or the hour nine on the 24 hour clock. Once we pass 12, we then begin counting until we get to the hour of nine. So that would be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
21 is now our new hour. 15 minutes remains the same and 55 seconds remains the same. There's no need for us to put the PM because automatically we know 21 represents the PM on the 24 hour clock. Let's look at another example. What is 10, 25 and 21 seconds written in standard format? Remember, standard format is written in 24 hour time. And on the 24 hour clock, we know that if we are dealing with times in the morning or in the AM, they are written exactly the same. It's when we get to the PM that we have to count on until we get to the correct hour. Let's look at another example now. What is this time written in standard format? 5, 13 and 12 seconds. And I know you see that PM. That means that we have to go past 12 and count on until we get to the hour of 5. Remember, we're writing this in the 24 hour clock time. So that means that 5 o'clock is actually 17 and the minutes and seconds remain the same. Now I know some of you are wondering, well, why do we have to use standard format? Well, here are a few advantages of using this format. Firstly, data capturing is easy using SI format. The dates are more easily recognized by computers when we use this format. And most importantly, using this format means that we do not need to understand another language in order to understand the time and dates in other countries. So knowing that, let's do a quick recap. When we look at the date in SI format, we have to remember that we need to say the year, then the month, and then the date. When we look at time in SI format, we need to say first the hour, then the minute, and then the seconds. Boys and girls, you did an awesome job today. Thank you for watching. This lesson was created by 